Ha ha hi! Good evening, my peoples. I'm Charlton Prince. Charlton Charles, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm inside here and I'm feeling so good. But I want to talk to you guys about something that's been bugging me for a little while. You know, you ever consider, you ever think about, hey, you know, I'm lending people my money left, right, and center. I get back some, I don't get back some. What am I really doing? So today I'm going to share some tips with you on how to, what you need to do, what you need to think about before you lend someone your money. Right after listening to the tips, you could decide who or when you want to lend people your money. My papers, if you have not subscribed, say please hit that subscribe button, pound it, bam, hit that notification button, bam, and come on, my people, help that channel to grow to 1,000 subscribers and let us pop bottles, pop it in and out. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna hit it with you right now. I'm Charlton Prince, Charlton Charles. Let's get into it. Bam, never, and I repeat to, I repeat it, never, never. Lend someone money on their payday in case of emergencies. But you never lend someone money on their payday. Think about it. That's the day you're getting the most amount of money for a month. And you don't have money to do your business at that time. That means you're really mismanaging your money. So there's a higher risk that I will never get back my money. If that person comes to you and say, bro, you lend me that money. I know all of us get paid, but you could spot me a hundred. Nah, bro, you shouldn't lend that person your money. There's a high risk that person did. That's high risk. That person been bad spending money. That person been misusing the funds. And you're not going to get back your money. So don't lend people money on a payday. Especially, 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 especially if you know the type of person that is. Don't lend the money on a payday. Don't, don't, don't lend it. No way. Don't, don't do it. Don't. So ask yourself this question. Do I have the courage to ask that person back for my money? This is something that I've personally struggled with. Trust me, I've struggled with that. I lend people my money, I want it's time for the pay me back. I I don't have the strength, I don't have the courage to ask them, yo, bro, pay me my money. Come give it to me. Give me my money. I don't have that courage. So before you lend someone your money, please ask yourself, do I have the courage to ask that person for the money that person's late on payment or they neglect to pay me? Can I? Do I have that in me? You need to know this thing before you lend money. Money is very important in this day and age. Now, people, I don't think you should just go about lending people your money randomly because, you know, things kind of bad, especially with the COVID-19 going on, things kind of tight. So you want to be extra careful, know who you're lending your money to and know if you could get it back. You gotta, I, can I, I want to know if I could get it back. And then I just don't have the courage or the strength to ask you for it. So that's something you need to consider. Just work out a payment plan. How am I going to get back my money? When I'm going to get it back? Am I going to get back my money in full? Or are you going to give me in parts? You need to find out all of these things and then before you give that person the money in your hand. So as soon as the person wants the money, hey, you know what, bro? I'm going to give back my money on the 15th. Can you give me back all my money on the 15th? Are you going to give me back some and give me back some money next time? But you got to know how you're getting back your money because it's your money. It's your money and you're giving, doing the person a favor. So you need to know when you're getting back that money. Don't be scared to ask, yo, bro, hey, let's do something. Let's, let's put something right in. I need to know when I get back my guy the money because you need to know it's your money. You need to know. One of the factors to consider is your relationship to the borrower. Yeah, the relationship to the borrower. I'm going to say it again, the relationship to the borrower. You see, according to how close you and someone is, based on the sum of money that you lend them, they don't see the need to pay it back. Like a family might say, yo, let me 20, let me 50, let me uh, 20, 10. They may not see the need to pay back. You may really need it back. So that's something you need to consider. You know, who am I lending this money to? I'm not going to get it back. I probably wouldn't get it back. That's my brother. That's my mother. That's my sister. So you got to think about those things. And then before you lend people money, just just consider it. You know, uh, would I get back my money? Do I need back my money? But if I lend you, I, I probably wouldn't get it back. You got to consider those things. Please give it some thought. Trust me. You got to be ready to stand loss. Before you lend someone money, you got to be ready to stand loss because there's a possibility that no matter how good or trustworthy that person is, you may never get, never get back your money. There's just that possibility There's every time you think about it, there's that possibility that you may just not get back your money. So you got to be, okay, can I really stand this loss? Can I, do I need that money? You know, do I, uh, can I really afford? Because you have to give out the money before you get it back. So you would not have that money at a point in time. So you got to be able to stand that loss for a bit. Sometimes you just never get it back. Worst case scenario, the person gets sick or you could never get that money back. So you had to be able to stand a loss. You should not, you should not lend out money that should affect your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You lend out that money and you know, you, you handbug you from here. You can't put gas in your car, can't eat, you can't pay your bills. Nah, you don't lend this kind of money out to people. So if you're going to lend out some money, you got to be able to stand a loss just in case. All right? Why you want it? Why do you want to borrow my money? You see, this is something that you need to know. I mean, come on. Um, 
I could understand like a money, you want a small money from a hundred dollars and down, you know. That you probably don't need a reason, but I'm talking about a big loan, like five thousand dollars, someone five hundred dollars, two thousand dollars, two hundred and five, two thousand five hundred dollars. You want you want to know what my money is going into. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to know. Come on, this I'm making a I'm lending you that money, I may not get back. I want to know what's going on with that money. Yeah, I may get back, but there's a possibility I may not get back my money. So I want to know what you want the money to do. So don't be afraid to ask the people, yo, bro, I understand you want to borrow this money, but why? Why you want to do with it? What's your intention to do with the money? All right? Cool. The person have your money for you, that person have the money for you, and they will come all slick in his slick. They just slick, uh, pretending like they don't even know what's going on. It's Friday. They're supposed to pay back 4 o'clock on Friday. It's 5.30. I ain't nothing going on. They just did. No eye contact. They just did like nothing happening. They even talking to you and say, bro, you know what's going on and stuff like that. I've been watching the game. All this kind of thing. And then they just did. Mm, nothing going on with that. Right? And then those that come about, hey, you know what, bro? I forget, you know. You know, bro, I really forget. You know, I forget that I'm money for you anyway. Listen, listen, listen. I'll pay you. I just forget. And then those others and them, you know, I forget it from by. Yo, me can't do work it. Ah, damn. I lose my wallet today, man. Think just about it. Hey, bro, I'm going to pay you tomorrow. Be careful with those things. Yeah, check what I said. Just be careful. Yeah, so my peoples, thank you for watching. But comment below the people. I want to be family, friend, neighbor, whoever. Some of the people that you, that's, you had the worst experience lending your money to. And if you wish, you can comment the worst experience you have with lending people your money. And also, you can comment how much money they have outside. I have about a thousand five outside, trust me, that I could remember. You know, you lend people money, the little 20, 100, 50, yeah, it's up after a while. And you're like, whoa. If I save that money, I could have some money. So my people, I'm not saying don't lend people money. I'm just saying be careful. Just be careful. So my people, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Charlton Prince, Charlton Charles, once again. And please, if you have not hit that subscribe button as yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help this channel to grow, trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. My people, leave a like, leave a comment. You know it is. Show the love. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Pop it.